All right, so here the machine is called the Siphonista. It's an automated siphon cell coffee brewer. Uh, essentially, it uses vacuum pressure technology to extract the flavors from the beans. Uh, here, as you can see, it is separated by two compartments. So this is the cylinder where the brewing actually takes place. And this is the body where there is a mini computer or microcomputer that actually, uh, I guess, heats up the water and does everything that, you know, helps with the extracting process. So first, we'll actually put the coffee grind in the bottom cylinder right here. So today we're serving Counterculture's Fast Forward Coffee. It's a medium roast. Um, for this specific demo, I'll just do one cup. It could do up to two cups, which is around eight ounces. Um, per four ounce, so it's uh, four ounces, one cup, eight ounces, two cups. So it is one scoop per four ounce. So max, it'll be two, uh, two scoops. So here, You'll just put the leveled coffee grind on top of the filter right here, like this. Essentially, it is uh, measured to be around 10 grams per scoop. So it'll be 20 grams for 8 ounces, uh, 4 ounce, uh, four, 10 grams for 4 ounces. Okay, let me just seal this up. So it's really easy to make coffee uh, through this machine just because it's all labeled here as well. So this will be 4 ounce, as mentioned previously, for 1 cup and uh, two cups for eight fluid ounces. And then you'll open up the lid here. Get the water. And you just fill it up to the, uh, point to the camera. But you just fill it up to the line as you can see right here like this. And then you'll just close the lid. It's really important for this machine that everything is uh, completely sealed just because we are playing with vacuum and pressure. You wanna make sure that everything is locked into place perfectly. Once that has been done, sorry, just lock it in. And then as soon as you insert the cylinder into the machine, there are different settings that uh, you'll be greeted with. So there's acidic, medium, bitter. This controls the temperature of the water when it brews. And light, medium, strong will control the uh, extraction time. Uh, so light will be slightly shorter compared to medium and strong. Strong will be a little longer. Um, lastly, there's a dual temp mode. This is for iced coffee. Essentially what you would do for this is you do two scoops of 20 grams of coffee, but only keep it at four ounces of water. This will brew the coffee at a high water temperature, but eventually we'll cool it back down through using our uh, system right here. For this specific demo, um, should you just do medium, medium? And then, all right, we'll just do medium, medium, and we just press start. Now this will take around two and a half minutes from this process. If you do a complete two cup, it'll, do, it'll take around three and a half minutes. So compared to a traditional siphon cell coffee, which will take around uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, you know, you're really cutting down the process a lot. Um, essentially the entire purpose of creating this machine was to make siphon cell coffee more easily accessible for those who want to try it at home. Um, I, didn't know, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this machine is uh, for residential use, for, uh, uh, for home use. It is UL certified. Um, it is unfortunately not NFS certified, so it won't be available for commercial use, as of not, at least not yet. So as you can see here, back to the machine, you can see that the water here is now traveling to the back. Um, if you feel it here, it's actually quite warm. So there, uh, it's actually heating up the water in the back, and the hot water is entering through uh, to the bottom cylinder. And through that heat, it's creating that vacuum pressure that I was talking about earlier. Right now, we're at the blooming stage, so you're just really letting out all the gas out from the coffee grinds. All right, so just to give you a little more overview, so there's actually a pump here. So essentially the water actually travels through, the, through these four pumps, uh, through the body. And once it's heat up, uh, heat up, then it'll go back to this pump and then now it'll go to the bottom cylinder. Did you have any questions so far? Yes, I have two questions. One is, if we're talking about uh, four to eight, mm -hmm. is there a way to, to sneak that up a little bit to make like 10? Because five ounce is kind of the requisite American US cup. Yeah, so unfortunately, the max it could do is up to eight ounces of coffee. Uh, just to give a little context, uh, here, the brand Tiger, so we're the ones that created the Siphonista. And we're actually a Japanese company. I understand. Yeah, we specialize in actually rice cookers and you could actually find our products through Costco. 
Uh, and so uh, giving that, in, uh, putting that in mind, um, the thing is we follow international standard size. So I know the U.S. typically tends to be a little bigger. <laughs> the big gulp, exactly. folks, the big man. Exactly. But <laughs> when it comes to caffeine, uh, we actually follow a strict guideline internationally. So uh, internationally, it's four ounces for one cup and eight ounces for two cups. Well, so. we are learning to follow the world's edicts to us. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Slowly but steady, we're yeah, getting there. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. it's all right. But anyway, I, 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 mean, I, I yeah. love a great siphon coffee though, mm -hmm. so maybe I'll uh, learn. Yeah, so I don't know if the camera captured it, but so essentially once there's a complete vacuum, there's agitation because lack of oxygen, right? So the water is boiling violently and all that pressure is built up. And now the machine actually determines when the brewing is complete. So when, when uh, it is complete, the valve that's connected from the bottom to the top will open up and that unequal pressure uh, will actually want to, well the chamber where there is no pressure, uh, extreme pressure will want to escape to wherever there is, right? So right. move on, the only way to go up is uh, move up is up, so that's how it ends up here. And now that coffee is actually done, so you actually just take whatever cup you have, we'll use a paper cup for this uh, demo, and then you'll just put it, sure. yep, and then you'll just pull this trigger and it'll just dispense like this. Did I block? Yes. All right. All right, Dennis. Let's see if I can handle another cup of coffee, but... Oh, the scent is great. The aroma is great. Wow. <laughs> That's a siphon cup, of, of course. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you.